All right, we're live. All right, we're about to start this music. Let the music speak. Triple Threat FM Radio. Commercial free. Look up in the sky. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's DJ Wonder Rican. You're tuned into Latin Mondays with DJ Wonder Rican on Triple Threat FM Radio. Sintonizado con Latin Mondays con DJ Wonder Weekend en Triple Threat FM Radio. What is up, everybody? Welcome to Latin Mondays here on Triple Threat FM Radio with your boy DJ Wonder Weekend. We are live here on, um, on YouTube as well with my special guest, Liz Garcia. Liz, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me once again. All right, now today's show is a very special show. We Liz are doing Garcia. debuting her um, album that just came out, and um, we're gonna play every song on this album so everybody can check it out. And you know what that means? You're gonna like it, and you're gonna purchase it. We'll find that out later where you can get it. Introduce the first song there, Liz. Okay, so the first song that you're gonna be listening to is a cover by Liz Garcia, Liz Garcia style, La Mejor Versión de Mí. I hope you guys like it. La mejor versión de mí, no la conociste tú. La mejor versión de mí, no la conociste tú, porque siempre me frenaste con tu pésima actitud. Nunca pude ser quien era Por amarte tu manera Olvide hasta de ser yo La mejor versión de mí Está a punto de llegar Porque estoy recuperando toda mi seguridad Esa que me arrebataste Con tus celos sin sentido con tu forma de pensar Pero me llegó el momento Y quise ser más fuerte Y ahora soy tan convencida Que no debo verte Que perdí mi tiempo Mientras tú ganabas Porque valgo mucho más De lo que imaginabas Y ahora estoy aquí Disfrutando la mejor versión de mí Y porque que no te tengo Tengo tantas cosas Ahora empiezo a disfrutar un poco más las rosas Por favor no me insistas, tampoco lo intentes Si ya sé que nunca cumples lo que me prometes Y ahora estoy aquí Disfrutando la mejor versión de mí Y por Luis García Y esta versión no te toca a ti, chiquito la mejor versión de mí está a punto de llegar Porque estoy recuperando toda mi seguridad Esa que me arrebataste con tus celos sin sentido Con tu forma de pensar pero me llegó el momento y quise ser más fuerte Y ahora estoy tan convencida que no debo verte Que perdí mi tiempo mientras tú ganabas Porque valgo mucho más de lo que imaginabas Y ahora estoy aquí Disfrutando la mejor versión de mí Y porque hoy que no te tengo, tengo tantas cosas Ahora empiezo a disfrutar un poco más las rosas Por favor no me insistas Tampoco lo intentes, si ya sé que nunca cumples lo que me prometes, y ahora estoy aquí, 
disfrutando la mejor lesión de mí. No te toca a ti disfrutar la mejor versión de mí. All right. I like, you know what? Ever since I started uh, doing Latin Mondays, so I'm listening to all kinds of yeah, salsa, merengue, bachata, tejano. I, I, I kind of got like hooked with uh, the style of music you play. It's, I like, um, is it almost the same as mariachi or is that something totally different? No, that's, that's completely different. Mine is in the norteño tejano genre. Now explain that to me. <laughs> no, it's not fully on norteño. I mean, it's not fully on either or it's like a, it's it's a twist you know it's um my producer is from mexico um i am mexican so we have that norteño feel to the music and then of course i don't want to lose my my tejano um audience either my fan base so it's it's a mixture of it so that's what makes it so fresh and it, there's really not really anything out there like my music it's, it's different all right so as long as you keep it original it's all you it's oh, yeah. all liz garcia and just like you say during your songs Oh yeah, estamos con Liz Garcia. <laughs> That's like the catchy part of the songs too, because you do it on, I think almost every song, don't you? Yes, it's because, mira, the thing for that is because I've been, uh, be before I was an artist, I was a fan, and I would always be on the lookout to see what artist it was because, um, like what if I liked the song, I wanted to go back and, and find it, and I could never find it. So I said, when I do it, I'm gonna say, puro Liz Garcia. <laughs> oh, <and it's> <laughs> Because I noticed a lot of a lot of the Latin artists do that also. Yeah. You no, know, so I said, well, that's cool. Because then at least you know that's like if somebody was to like in the future do like a cover song of one of yours as a cover song, you know, it ain't gonna be the same because they have to they have to throw in that that part. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think that's what kind of like um. It's like a unique uh, thing to make it stand out, I guess. Um, not only so much from for you to know who it is singing, but also um, to kind of refer back to. <laughs> so right. I do it with everyone, every song. So, <laughs> after, so after this next song, we're gonna talk about the fanfare you had a, a couple weekends ago. Yes. So this next one is De Espere. De Espere. This is also a cover. This is Les Garcia style. The one that we just that you just played is La Mejor Versión de Mi. Now that one is a cover as well. It's it, These are songs that I specifically pick myself. So La Mejor Versión de Mi, if you guys heard this song by Nati Natasha, it's reggaeton. So that's oh. that song, La really? Mejor Versión de Mi, but it's Liz Garcia style. So this one, the next one, if you guys um, if you guys know who Jesse and Joy is, mm -hmm. they have a, a, a ballad, a slow song, romantic song, and the, Te Espere is the cover, um, Liz Garcia style. So it's also a cover, my style. All right, let's check it out, y'all. Cuando se apaga el amor Cuando se apaga el amor El corazón se queda en llamas Cuando se acaba, se acabó Cuando te encuentra el amor, olvidas todo lo vivido, ya no te detiene el temor, de pronto nada está perdido, aunque no tenga sentido. Lo intenté, 
Lele, chiquito. That was the second song on that album, Te Esperé. So you just, a couple weekends ago, because we just had a weekend, you had the fanfare. Yes. So, yes. Yeah, so tell me about it. I want to hear about it. So it's a, well, actually, it's a four-day um, fanfare, but, I mean, I only did three days out of that. Um, you know, the first one is on a Thursday. It was back on the 14th. Um, it's a radio gala. What that is, is like um, all the colleagues, um, peers from the music industry, we all go to one place. There's radio stations. We do a lot of interviews there to have check to see if they have our music playing or a rotation or anything like that. Uh, mainly um, internet radio stations are on there. Um, there's there's a few that are terrestrial. Um, that was one. And then, of course, the next day was a fanfare. It was a new location here in San Antonio. They moved it to the Hemisphere Plaza. Um, the Hanna Music Awards Fanfare. You know, I did two days. Um, it was a 10 minutes lot each, each time. I had a, a, um, a few upset fans because some of them missed it because it's such a short time. And some of them were like, we want more and that's all you got. <laughs> but the thing is with the way that works is uh, they do, um, since I am a solo performer, I don't have a band with me. Well, I don't sign up with the band either. Um, I do get a 10 minute slot and, you know, for me, that's more than enough, but of course my fan base wasn't too happy about that. <laughs> uh, but um, it wasn't, it, you know, I take advantage of any, any time that I have. Um, it was really nice to see a lot of people make new fans out there, meet a lot of the fan base that I have that follow me on social media um, that made it out. You know, I also had a meet and greet. I had people come over, new people um, that went to go see Liz Garcia perform. And, you know, I think that's what it's about. You know, for me, it's an, it's a great opportunity to reach other people that haven't heard of who Liz Garcia is. Cause I've only been doing this for seven years. Nice. So um, how many songs would you able to, to fit in, in that 10 minute slot? Well, I mean, it's just a, a three, three songs. Yeah. So it's, I, I get to pick them. So I kind of stuck to the same, the same three oh. songs both days, just okay. in case I have different people, <laughs> I have different people, but yeah, it was three songs. So you, have you met it? Uh, have you met like uh, fans that you've met before in, in other at other events? Yeah, well, I mean, there. You know, since I've been doing fan first since I started, um, gracias a Dios. Except for the, ex I mean, the exception, I think it was maybe one year that I didn't go, but it was because of a mistake with the schedules, so I didn't, I didn't do it. But you know, I have a lot of um, existing fan base that does come look for me, um, and of course, I make a lot of new fans as well. So. That's like the most rewarding thing, you know, to, for people to come and actually look for me. And then, of course, le leaving from there and I have a whole new batch of fans that like Les Garcia music. So that's what's important for me. Oh, yeah. So did you get to meet new fans at the fanfare? Yes, I did. Yes, on both days. Um, you know, and mm -hmm. there, a lot of people that I didn't get to actually meet, they were sending messages. Hey, we really like your style. We like your music. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing awesome. So I think that's the most gratifying thing out of everything. And that's why I participate, right. even though it's just a 10 minutes lock for me. You know, to me, it's like I said, Liz Garcia, 10 minutes lock equals gold. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. Right. You know, that's good because I remember um, I DJed a, a concert and um, for this group, but I only had a 10 minute slot to mix, which was fine because I can fit a lot of songs in within that 10 minutes. And then mm -hmm. I had to mix their song. So, yeah, I, I mean, but it, did it seem like a long time for you, those 10 minutes that you were up there? Actually, no. You know, I think it's, it, for me, it's 
it, it goes like in the blink of an eye. It's like, um, I, th I think I take longer to prepare <laughs> as far as, you know, making the plans to go, you know, um, investing the money, the practice, everything. I mean, I think it just like, I get up there and I'm already done. I'm like, what? <laughs> But, you know, I make the best out of it. I make the best out of every chance and opportunity that I get in order for me to reach new people out there. How many people are out there? Oh, my gosh. I, you know, they always put out um, a count, like a guesstimate. But this time around, I didn't follow through. But there was a lot of people. And I think that there was a lot of confusion as well because they used to, um, like, they've done this event forever at the Market Square. And then they changed it this year. This year, I moved to the Hemisphere Plaza. You know, regardless, you know, there was a lot of people there. Um, but I think it wasn't the full on crowd that they normally get every year because of the change okay. of location. Maybe next year it'll, it'll probably be even like capacity or max. I don't know. All right. Well, let's get, let's go on to the next song, which is entitled Adios. Tell me a little bit about this song before we play it. Adios is an original song that I wrote. This is basically talking about, you know, it's like, um, you know, the typical love um the relationship you know what i'm tired of it um i give you i give you everything you treat me this way you know i, I can't continue on you know it can't continue going like this so it's goodbye that's basically what it's saying uh, because he's a heartless person <laughs> or she is a hardly person whatever however situation applies to people but you know it's right. um it's a heartfelt song so i mean not necessarily that it has to do with me because i am a, a writer by nature so it's not necessarily stories that pertain to Liz Garcia, but you know, I put a lot of fuel into it. So hopefully it reaches people out there and they like what they hear. All right, let's check it out. Here's Adios by Liz Garcia. <laughs> Bueno, compren. 
Adios, yo. Adios. Big shout out to Margo who is tuned in. I got to give your promoter, manager props. She, when, I, when I was able to schedule you for today's show because of things that came up, she was on it. She was on it. <laughs> so I got I to gotta give her props. And you know what? Good thing because this is going to be my last show for a while because I'll be out of commission. You know, after tomorrow, after yeah. So it got it got good for so tomorrow from tomorrow, and I'll be back the first week of May. No, sorry, second week of May, I'll be back. I'll be back, but I'm glad we got to do this finally. Thank you so, so much finally. for before you left. You know, everything's gonna be yeah. good. You'll see. <laughs> yeah. Now, let me ask you something. With this style of music, is there like um, you know, like with country music, they have line dancing. Now, do they have that? With the your style of music, well, not so much the line dancing. Um, I guess it's more of abrazadito de cartoncito, how they call it, <laughs> the norteñitas. Okay. Um, but um, I mean, there is there is cumbias out there that people actually dance. Like I don't know, I mean, the, but I haven't really stayed up to date with those. But I know you might have heard like uh, the caballo dorado, like Aki Breaky Heart, but in Spanish, hmm. you know, stuff yeah. like that. That's stuff like that that is still out there. But I mean, in my in my experience or whatever is out there right now, I'm not I haven't kept up with it, so I really don't know what's out there right now, other than Les Garcia. <laughs> other than no, Les Garcia. Be cool. no, because it'd be cool if you can do it. Then um, you can have like have a group of people like get on stage with you and do the dance. I know, you, you know. I've I thought about it, you know. I've, I've I had actually looked for um, dancers, but um, it hasn't happened yet. But yes, um, because I do have some of my cumbias, or um, I think there's something that we can do with mine, like bailele, um, que se de cuenta. Uh, I have yet, you know. I think those st those styles of songs can actually use something like that. But you know, it hasn't happened yet. But it's something I've looked into before. So That'll we'll be see. dope. Do you got any music videos? Yes, I do have two. Um, two original songs. Es Mejor Decir Adios was my first video. Um, it's an original song by Les Garcia. And then I have um, I Javier, which is an, another original by Les Garcia. So they're on YouTube, actually, Les Garcia La Cantante Music, so you guys can check it out. First, there is All two. right, cool. All right. We got the next song. It's pretty cool. No Me Busque. Like, don't be finding no me, me. Yeah, don't be looking for me, man. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of, that song is one of, like... Um, the ones that, um, you know, it's like, I was so in love. You know, it's like the, the type of um, music that I that I go for is really what I like. You know, it's not so much um, what's out there. And I, then I guess I create my own because, I, I'm, I like I said, before being a, a singer, I was a fan. And I always kind of looked at what sells. So all of this, you know, like, you don't love me. You left me. Why don't you come back? I'm waiting for you. Go away. <laughs> Stuff like that right. is what keeps people in it so no me busques is something like that it's like dude i loved you you left me that's don't be calling me anymore <laughs> we'll see like, you i know but that's like straight up no me busque. i don't want to talk to you i don't want to know nothing from you don't yeah. don't try to call me through uh facebook live or however <laughs> facebook message don't be trying to call me through there i'm gonna just block all right let's check yeah. let's check this out let's check this out no me busque another one by liz garcia yeah. Okay, ya noche, 
no me busques, ya no me llames, me duele tanto escuchar tu voz, ya no me busques y ya no me llames, que me recuerda que te llevaste mi corazón. Puro Liz García, bailele, eso. that ending part how you just like whisper <laughs> that, i like that i like that, that yep that, that. that's good like that that's good like that you want to give any shout outs while we're on the air i, I see you got somebody who's constantly um writing there if you want to give them a shout out yes i want to give a shout out to delilah rodriguez she's a number one fan over here in san antonio so thank you delilah thank you for being here i appreciate it a yeah. shout out to Curse pandas which is margo that's her youtube account <laughs> And whoever else is on there that I can't see, thank you. Thank you for being there. Yeah, uh, yeah, our promoter Jersey Jess is on there watching. She's yes. watching, she's always she's always tuning in, making sure we uh we sound good on the air. So That's she's awesome. another thank one. You. I give her your flyer and she puts it everywhere so everybody can see it. So yes, that is good. Yeah, so, you. you gotta come down to New York, man. I know, I know that um Margo's working on it. For the yes. Albany Latin Fest, I hope they call you because I, you know, I'll be, I'll, I'll come down there, even if I, if I'm not DJing, but I have one of my friends who always DJs there every year. So if you go down, you'll see me there. I'll be there. I would love to go. I'll be so hopefully, to see. <laughs> yeah, because uh, the Albany Latin Fest is is a huge thing in Albany, New York. Is mm -hmm. a lot of people go, a lot, a lot of artists go. Um, I think I haven't gone anytime because it always fell on my weekend that i had to work or i had a gig mm -hmm. so this summer as soon as i get a date um i'm gonna head out head down there and hopefully you'll be there too yes i hope so that's 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 in the in the bucket list so hopefully hopefully it does happen <laughs> yeah so mm -hmm. let's see we were talking before the show you're not very active on instagram but you're more on facebook <laughs> This I know yeah. because I follow you on on Facebook also, and you're always live talking with the fans and everything. But I mean, Instagram is a big platform too. Yes, you know, you know and it's very hard for me to keep up. I guess because it's um, I mean, I do have a lot of pages, so I'm guilty of that. Um, and I'm trying to like manage all of them on my own. And the only reason I do yeah. that is because I want to be present. I want to be aware of what's going on. So yes, I kind of slack a little bit on Instagram, but yes, I, everywhere I go, what's your Instagram? And I make sure to tell everybody, hey, I'm on Instagram, but I'm hardly ever there, but I'm there, okay? <laughs> so yes, no, I do need to I, work on that. 
I, honestly, yeah, because that's that's how I, I found you on there, uh, yeah. on Instagram. And a lot of the artists, you know, that I play, you know, I find them on um, Instagram. And um, I'm just saying you can, how do you say, um, connect with others. Yes. You know? And because I know there's, um, matter of fact, there's, there's, a, there's a, another um, person that promotes too. I can connect him with Margo. And yes. he's over here on the East Coast. So oh, awesome. we got to work that magic and uh, bring you to New York, whether it's New York City I or that, that'll I be dope. I want to say thank yeah. you. Thank you for the love and support since day one. You're awesome. You know, none of this of course, will be happening if you None of these people were here. Um, I mean, I want to send a shout out to, I know it's DJ Owl. She's the one that actually told me about you. The, at the yes. very beginning. Yeah, so because yep. of Debbie, I got to know you. And then from you, it was DJ Echo. Uh, pero those, only you two. I mean, I haven't really um, uh, kept up with everybody else, but I know you guys, both of you, um, have been supporting Les Garcia Music since day one. So thank you so much. It means a lot. Yeah, no, no problem. Because I know anytime you come out with something new, Echo plays it on his show, yes. you know, on the station, because he will he does something separate where, you know, new music with the artists and everything. And then me, I just do, on Mondays I do Latin and on Fridays I do freestyle. But I, I'm, I never thought I was going to do a Latin show. So I'm kind of enjoying it even more. Than the That's other awesome. show, sorry, freestyle listeners, but I'm kind of liking it because, it, it, like all the like the new artists, I like listening to new people. You know, yeah. like yourself, you know, like I, I enjoy that and appreciate your music even more. Thank all you. right, we Pre got we got this, no problem. Now, um, let's see, the next one, Me Dejaste. Is that a cover or original Liz Garcia? It's an original Les Garcia song, and it's actually one of my favorites. It's like my baby. I really like that song for whatever reason. I, I just feel like I put a lot of feel into it, and, and I feel it. I mean, even though it doesn't have anything to do with me, but, you know, there's certain songs that I that I get this attachment with, and that's one of them. You know, I think out of all my songs, that's one of them that, that I really, really enjoy singing um, out there for everyone. But, yeah, Me Dejaste is, um, again, you know, the typical love story. It's like I waited, mm -hmm. you left me with my hand, my heart in my hand. So I mean, you want you now you come back, you wanna you wanna come back to me, and it's like it's too late already. Even though I would want to, it's too late. So that's what the story is basically talking about. I mean, like I said, I am a storyteller by nature. Um, I know I have a lot of people confide in me and stuff like that with their relationship stuff, and that's really where I pull out all my songs from, you know, from stuff like that. So I think that's, no, that's one cool. of them that I really, I really like. Yeah, that's dope. All right. Well, let's check out Me Dejaste by Liz Garcia. Thank you. 
regresó El dolor Me causaste el decir adiós Toda una vida te esperé Que regresaras a mí Otra vez Pero no hubo interés de tu parte Y me propuse yo olvidarte Y me dejaste Con el corazón en la mano Siempre queriéndote tanto Y esperando tu regreso Y hoy regresas Diciéndome que no me olvidaste Que quieres abrazarme Pero ya es muy tarde y me dejaste con el corazón en la mano siempre queriéndote tanto y esperando tu regreso y hoy regresas diciéndome que no me olvidaste y quisiera abrazarte pero ya es muy tarde All right. So, oh, by the way, since it is still March, congratulations. You are the artist of the month here on Latin Mondays. That's crazy. <laughs> I couldn't yeah. even believe that. I'm like, what? Number, you know, that's it's actually my number, my very first number one spot. That was the number two. Uh, and no, like in other occasions, in other stages. No, but this is for the artist of the month. You got the whole month. All yes. Yeah, oh yeah, and also on the one of the countdowns I was number one. <laughs> that was like the number one spot. So yes. <laughs> yeah, you got the you got the number one spot for the first quarter. Yes, the, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yep. So you got that and you got um what you call it, uh artist of the month. Yes. So even though while I'm out, I'm still gonna throw like April's and May's um artists of the month. And then my next top ten would be I think June. June will be the May or June, one of those two. When you see it up, you'll know who it is. But yeah, I got what a couple. I think what once uh, April next week, next whenever, yeah. sometime yeah, next week. Be, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll announce uh, who's going to be the next month. But you got March first through the thirty first. It's all Liz Garcia. Yeah, you know, representing, representing. So when when uh, when I sent sent that out to you i don't know did i tell you or was it margo who told you i know margo kept, telling me, margo kept telling me there was a, a surprise for me and i was like i don't like surprises i need to know <laughs> she goes you'll find out you'll find out <laughs> and then yes you send it to me so yes, yeah you, when she told when she told me i'm like i already know he already told me <laughs> oh okay all right all right all right right no no but that, that that's cool that's cool I, uh i'm glad it, you know you got i you know it worked out because yes, we're doing yes. So it's I'm very appreciative. It, it's a really nice feeling to to be experiencing that, you know, being like I said, independent, doing all of this um, independently. I think it, it's a lot, you know, because I'm not only um, like it's not. How can I say it? I'm going against a lot of awesome talent out there, and for me to be on there, uh, you know, the the artist for the other month when there's a lot more talent out there, it's like wow. Like it still can. Like it's still dawning on me. <laughs> No, no. Hey, you deserved it. So thank you. It's all good. Let's see. We played Medejaste just now. All right. So we got baile. 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 Yeah, yeah, my Spanish is bad. I'm trying to work it. I mean, I grew up <laughs> on it. And then when I got older, it was mostly English. But like if you say if you talk to me in Spanish, I understand everything you said. But for me to to speak. I, yeah, I'll, there's some words I'll mistake. I'm gonna tell you one time this one um, <laughs> job I had. I wasn't there no more, and there was um, Mexican men. Um, they were um, they needed translation, and it took me a half hour because there's certain words I didn't understand. <clears throat> yeah. 
and the girl's making fun of me. I said, listen, I'm Puerto Rican. They're Mexican. There's certain words that are different. So, okay. to, so this was over 20 years ago. The guy needed, um, remember the 35 millimeter cameras? Mm -hmm. Well, the roll, the roll came out of the thing, the whole thing out of the camera. So you couldn't open it because then it would have destroyed the, you know, the, the film. So it took me half hour to realize that's what they said. And I had to explain to them. I said, you're going to have to do it in the dark to take it out because um, it just, it broke off. So it took me a half an hour to get that right. And they, they, I mean, they were, they were happy. I was able to figure it out, but mm -hmm. they tried to bust my chops. I said, why don't you try doing it? You yeah. Said, oh, that's why we got you. I said, yeah, whatever. It's not, it's, you know, when like me, um, I'm from Mexico and I had to, Spanish is my first language. So I had to do the translation at home, like for my parents, for my aunts. And I was like in a lot of heated little situations all the time. Tell them, tell them, como se dice esto? Uh, and I'm trying to figure it out. And I'm like, oh my God, why do I have to do this? But you know, now it's like, I'm grateful for all of those, um, tragame tierra moments, I call them. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like open up the earth and eat me, swallow me alive. Because sometimes I would say the wrong things and I didn't know, but um, you know, I'm very fluent, um, Spanish, English. And I mean, now I claim to be Spanglish because I tend to do that. You know, I, I tend to speak Spanish and English at the same time, but it's, it's costumbre, you know, that's just how I grew up because of the fact that I was always translating. Right. But um, pero si soy mexicana, and a lot of people from Mexico get mad at me, like, ¿para qué estás hablando inglés? Si eres mexicana, I'm like, es que así me criaron, ni modo, así me crié. I had to do this. So yeah, I know when I went me. when I went to Puerto Rico, there was people talking in in English everywhere mm -hmm. I went. I said, okay, this is not fun. You all supposed <laughs> to be talking in Spanish, but it was it was fine because it was my first time down and I had a great time and mm -hmm. everything. All right, let's kick it to the next one. Bailele. Did I say it right? Yes, right. by Lele. Is that a cover or original? It's an original by Liz Garcia también. So right. Lele is it's it's like a little fun little story, but it's not real. Okay. So those of you out there that think Bailele applies to Liz Garcia, it doesn't apply to me. It's just something that I come up with and I present them to my producer, and he's like, Yep, that's a good one. And I'm like, hey, I don't know about these songs, but when bueno, I queda. And people like it, so anyway. <laughs> Let's check it out. Eso, ¿dónde está el güero? Yo te veo mandándome besitos Me encanta verte a ti como meneas tu cuerpecito Al ritmo de mi cumbia, mi güerito consentido Cuando tú bailas se alborota todo el mundo Siguen muy bien tus pasos Al ritmo de esta cumbia a mí me encanta cómo bailas Te das de vueltecita, siempre pierdo la cordura Baila, le güerito Muévete chiquito, disfrútalo, muévelo Ya empieza el calorcito con tu meneito Bailale, bailale, bailale güerito Muévete, muévete, muévete chiquito Disfrútalo, muévelo Ya empieza el calorcito con tu meneito Con tu meneito, bailale, 
Baila el muerito. Muévete chiquito. Y empieza el calorcito con tu meneito. That's a catchy song. I'm liking that one. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, let me ask you something. So how long did it take you to do the, your entire album? You know, I have, um, to this day, I do have three albums. Um, so this is my third one. Pisando Fuerte is my third one, which I released in December. I normally give myself a year on each one. But, it, I mean, I do put myself through a lot of pressure because I am independent. You know, I don't come from money. I don't do a regular job. You know, I do the side hustle, which is like baking. Um, I have a, a part-time job that I do off and on. You know, those are the the means of funding my music, and it's very expensive. So it does take me a while, especially like I have to do everything. Um, I do the, I have to pay the producer, pay the studio, pay the musicians in Mexico. I have to um, do the, find the photography. I have to find the people who are going to do the cover art. You know, the registrations, the platforms. You know, everything. I'm doing everything on my own. So I do put myself through a lot of pressure, but it, you know. Um, Luckily, it's uh, I've been setting myself for a goal of a year for each album, and it's happened. So, uh, but it's a lot of work though, and it's a lot of stress. And yeah. this year, uh, this year I, I I usually try to release one every year, but my fourth one, I'm still I'm kind of taking it a little slower. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna do another four like a fourth album, but I'm taking it a little slower. I'm kind of enjoying right now the release of this one you know it, i'm a little late i'm still promoting it right i'm still i'm already going into april but um because by this time around it would already i would have been promoted and then just been playing and working on the next one but this time around i'm actually enjoying taking my time and actually promoting make sure it's getting played the music out there make sure it's getting heard you know other people are listening to it a new fan base is finding out about Liz garcia music you know that it's in every platform i do have 30 songs out there out of those 30 songs, I do have um, 21 originals. The others are covers my style. So, yeah, I mean, it usually a year. And so far, so good. It's worked out. But yeah, I put myself through a lot of stress. <laughs> so how many musicians you have all together to compose? Well, there is a, I mean, I don't have a band. So there is a band in Mexico that my producer um, works with. And they're, I'm going to send a shout out to them. La Elegancia, Elegancia Hermano Solguín. They're in Mexico, de Efe. So they're out there. They're the ones that actually do the the music to the to the album for the album okay all right and then who's who's who produces it for you my um producer roberto arista briones he's also in mexico and my studio is here in san antonio with uh, tony terrazas terra Productions. oh okay cool cool that's good that's good i know it's a lot of work to put an album together and <laughs> here's a little um a fact about me back in let me see my 30, 32 years ago, 32, mm -hmm. I was um, asked to uh, be a guest on, on this um, Latin band's album. They just told me to just do a simple rap. So I did a, a Spanglish thing. I wrote it out. I just, you know, I listened to the song and he gave me the beat to it. And then I wrote it. Then I went to the studio. And just to do one song, I was there. We were there. We got there at 10 at night. Mm -hmm. I didn't leave there till like three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the thing is, I got tired of doing my part, you know, because they were doing sections of instruments separate. And I was like, oh, man, I'm getting tired. So then when it was my time to go to do it, I got it perfect. And then um, 
I was able to go home. But then when the album came out, it it, it was cool. I'll I'll send you the um I'll send it to you so you can hear it. But yeah, yeah, it was, yeah I was, oh yeah, I was in my twenties. Wow. Uh, yeah, I was in. Yeah, was I? Yep, early twenties. Yep. You're still in your twenties. What are you talking about? You always say that. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, but yeah, it it was fun being in the studio. It was it was it was a lot of fun, and yes. uh, I would do it again. But um, I don't know. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying that. No, but you know, it, it it does get a little frustrating, especially like me. In my case, I don't come from music. I'm self-taught. You know, I've learned everything that I know in the past seven years. Basically, grew grew before everybody's eyes on social media. So there's still a lot that I need to learn. There's still a lot that I still um, would need a lot of um, learning. Um, so and I, and every day is a learning experience. Every time, every opportunity, every everything that I do is a learning experience for me. So yeah, sometimes it gets a little frustrating. Before, like I even as much as I love being in the studio, sometimes I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. I quit. <laughs> Right. And then like, go home. You're, we'll come back next week, and we'll work on it again. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's a little frustrating. Like I think I got it to the T, and then they 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 listen to it. And I'm like, you're gonna have to come back and record. I'm like, what? So yeah. you know, it does get a little frustrating. But I love it. I love being there. And the only, the thing that I love the most out of that is like when I write a song, it's like bringing it to life. You know, putting the 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 emotion, the feeling into it. Um, you know, adding the music, and then just to see something that was written to like literally like something that was just i this is how i picture it something that was just flat on a paper you know come up and actually have a dimensional i don't know like a dimensional shape that you can't even see but you know it's like it's, it becomes something right so that's like the thing that I, I i think i enjoy the most that being there um recording and of course other than the frustrating part that i can't get this note or you can't get it y me regañan y mm -hmm. <laughs> so except that part but you know it's something that I would love to be doing all the time, but it was dinero. That's the main yeah. one. And because I can write really fast, if I could, if I could record as fast as I can write, that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't happen that way. What What would you do if um if you got a call from the Latin Grammys to tell you you were one of your songs was nominated, or even you was not because um as a artist of the year or something like that. Uh, how would you take that? Oh my God. Like, you know, I won the Tejano Music Award and I still can't assimilate that. It's real. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's here and I touch it, but you know, I don't know. You know, that's like one of the, like the main things for an artist, you know, the, the Grammy. And I think just the simple fact of being nominated, but I don't even know how I would, I'm a, I'm a very, uh, I react so late to everything. It's like, it's like, uh, no. This is something too good to be true. Like it's not, I don't allow myself, I guess, to jump for joy right there in the moment. I guess I, I would be a very late bloomer on that. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I wouldn't even know how, how to take it. I really don't know. Or or better yet, or or you're at the Grammys and then you're one of the artists that has to perform. Oh and my you, gosh, not that. I'm looking forward to. <laughs> that'll be I would love to do that. That'll be a huge crowd. That that'll be cool. Because I'll be yeah. watching from home. I said, I know her. Yes. <laughs> I yes. Yes. Yeah. That would be awesome. I mean, the performing part, I would love. You know, I it's the vision of mine. I I, I see myself, you know, in, in those crowds, you know. I would love to. I mean, I've already done it. I've, I've gotten my share of uh, like almost a sea of people here and at the Tejano Music Awards. You know, thanks to them, I've been able to experience that. And um, it's a really nice feeling to see all of those people. It's like, especially the way I do things. You know, I do things very different from everybody out there. And just not seeing everybody enjoying what I'm doing, but that is one of my, one of my, one of the visions that I have in this in this career. You know, that's really one of the things that I'm working towards for, um, to be able to sing to a huge crowd out there. That'll be I think dope. That's really the highlight for me. <laughs> That'll be dope. All right, let's do this next one. Eres Peligro. Yes, yes. Eres Peligro is an original song by Les Garcia. You know, it's a lovey-dovey song. It's like, dude, I am in love with you. Don't look at my way because you're dangerous. <laughs> That's really what the song's about. It's like, I can't, like, I fell in love and just like, you're dangerous for me. Like, that's really what it is. <laughs> All right, let's see how dangerous is this song. <laughs> Me atraparon, sé que no podré escapar de 
el hechizo de tu mirada y esa sonrisa divina. Y así quisiera confesarte que de ti yo estoy enamorada, pero yo me quedo callada. Oh, oh, oh. Besarte. Eres peligro, no lo pude yo evitar, pero tengo tanto miedo de que no sientas lo mismo, eres peligro. It is peligro. I want to give a big shout out to my fam, Jessica Castillo, who's tuned in all the way from the Big Apple. So we got a New York City listener. Awesome. Right. Thank you. All right. Um, so let me ask you something. If you were to be asked to, um, who would you, who would you want to do a song with? Oh, my gosh. You know, that question is like, um, of course, you know, there's a lot of artists out there, but like my my all time would be Laura Pausini. I don't know if you guys even know who she is, but um, she like that woman. Oh my gosh, lo I love her voice. I love her music. She's um um I know in Italy. She's Italian or Spain somewhere over. <laughs> but I love her music. I just love her voice, and I would love to meet her one day. I like she's my idol on in music, so I would love to. It would be with her. And then, then, of course, with Carol G. Of course, she's one of my favorites, too. Oh, okay. All right. So have you ever thought about, like, going from what you do now to, like, switch it into, like, um, reggaeton, bachata, salsa, merengue? Cause you know, I have. I've, I've um, you know, when I first started, I was actually told I was crazy when I said, I want to sing a song in every genre. And everybody, like, uh, just, like, stick to one. I'm like, no, I'm independent. I can do that. I want to do that. So I, yeah, you know, my home for, for me, it, like all time home would be in music would be Pop Internacional. Um, you know, that's Spanish. Um, love music and romantic ballads and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Or Pop Internacional, that's my home. But, you know, the Norteño, Tejano genre también, you know, it's, it, I really love all kinds of music. So yes, I would love to do a freestyle song. I would love to do the Pop Internacional. Um, a country song. A lot of people like the way, I mean, I haven't really sang out there in public, but I've done a few covers in country here on Facebook and um, on Facebook and they like how it sounds. And of course, 
I don't really sing in English because I shy away from it since it's not my comfort zone to sing in English, but I've tried it. I've done a duet already where it's um, Open Up Your Heart with Alex Rojo from California. It's it's a Tejano, like really Tejano song, but you know, it's Open Up Your Heart bilingual version. And I'm actually singing in English and people, people do like it. So oh. that would be like, for me, it's still a goal, still a thing to actually record a song in every genre. <laughs> we'll see if it happens. If you do, know. if you do freestyle, you could do it in Spanish because there's, there's a, a few artists that that have Spanish songs. Well, let yeah. me tell you something about that. You know, Stephanie Bennett, freestyle yep. artist. Okay, yep. so I've done um, the Spanish translation for two of her songs, "The Heart on the Run." It's Ben Liz Garcia. If you listen to the Spanish version on her on that, it's Liz Garcia, the one that did that. And then also the new one that she's going to be releasing is titled Alone. It's called Alone. I'm going to, I'm the one doing that for her. So oh. I've done that for her in the, in, in the freestyle. I've opened for the cover girls. I've opened for, I'm going to be opening for Trenier in, in June. To me, that's like a big thing because I used to listen to freestyle a lot. And now for me to be able to do this, I'm like, wow. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that, are, that, you know, I'm not a hundred percent in there, but I've, I am kind of doing something in the freestyle thing. <laughs> no, that's cool. Yeah, I saw the pictures that you met the cover girls. I actually got to meet them this past summer at one of their shows. You yes. know, so that that, that was cool. Yeah, that, yes, that I was met cool. Them. I've met Trenier. I met Stephanie Bennett. Um, I've also um, opened up for Amanda Perez. You know, th th and, this is, and the reason I mention all this is because it's completely different from what I do. And um, to me, it's like they embrace me. You know, it's like, yeah, you're cool. You're one of us. You're people. <laughs> so I really like that. That they're able to just um, embrace everything that I'm doing, and and they they appreciate everything that I'm doing, and they actually support what I do. So it really means a lot being able to be able to to do what I do for for Stephanie, and then of course to be able to share the stage with them. You know, it's awesome. Yeah. All right. So this next one is your number one song for the first quarter here on Latin Mondays. I can't pronounce that word. Te confieso. Te confieso. <laughs> All right, we're going to play that now. It's by Liz Garcia. Yes, in original. Que tú nunca me quisiste Te confieso que dolió Pensé que me moría Con el tiempo comprendí Que a mí ya no me dolía Sigue con tu camino Y búscame en otra vida Tal vez entonces todo esto Si funcionaría tal vez entonces tú sabrás que yo por ti daba mi vida tal vez entonces tú sabrás que yo por ti daba mi vida un diversión y te confieso chiquito que te marchaste sufrí mucho tu partida y entendí tu ausencia que tú nunca me quisiste te confieso que dolió y pensé que me moría con el tiempo comprendí que tú a mí ya no me Si funcionaría tal vez entonces 
cosas tú sabrás Y yo por ti daba mi vida Tal vez entonces tú sabrás Que yo por ti daba mi vida Sigue con tu camino y no vuelvas a buscarme. Sigue con tu camino y no vuelvas a buscarme. Sigue con tu camino y no vuelvas a buscarme. That's the number one song for the first quarter here on Lat Monday's Triple Threat FM Radio with your boy DJ Wonder Rican with Liz Garcia is in the house. <laughs> yeah. Thank so besides, so besides, um, what you call it, um. Hold on, let me make sure I get this right here. Okay, um, so besides like having fun, you know, making music, what other things besides music you like to do for fun? Like, what do you do on your non-musical time? Well, I mean, it, I'm not so much of a person that's out there. <laughs> I, it's because I've worked all my life, so I've been away from my home, like basically all my life. Um, it's just like seven years ago, uh, in music, um, you know, exactly going on four years ago, I quit my day job. So I was always running um, to get to my job. And then the those um, almost four years that I did the, my job, my, my music, my family, you know, everything, it was a lot. It was very hectic for me. So I really love staying home. I really do. Um, I enjoy my time at home. Um, you know, I'm the movie person. I'm the movie watcher. <laughs> So um, I like to watch movies. I mean, of course, now I don't have that time anymore, like before, because it, it's just I, I'm just busier with the music. So, uh, but I love to watch movies. I love the one thing I do love, and it's boring to a lot of people. I love trees. I have a lot of trees in my property, so I love to sit out there and just kind of watch them. You know, I just that's just me, and I just think about of a lot of things, and you know, what I'm, my career, everything that I'm doing, anything that I've done. You know, it's I, I love doing that, and of course, I mean, taking it easy and going to the going to the um, to the beach and just sitting there enjoying the the view like listening to the way like to the ocean waves the way everything you know i'm very simple like that i'm not too much of a party person i don't drink i don't smoke or anything like that so i'm not in the need to do any of that um i'm not somebody that i understand that people are busy so i've learned to enjoy you know my alone time and i, and I love that and but then now like i said i really don't get to do much for myself because i'm always thinking of what is that i need to do next on music so but yeah that's what i like to do <laughs> so like you like watching trees like i like to have a fire out back in my backyard and just watch it and um yeah since, you know, <laughs> since i'm in new york and we get snow because we just got hit with a snowstorm the other day oh, it was wow. ridiculous but um in my garage, I have a fireplace. Like I, I bought to keep to keep the garage warm, and I I put wood in there, and I'll sit there and just watch it. It's just yeah. it puts me in its own, and it just and then I'm relaxed. You know, I'm relaxed, and then I'm able to like to go to bed. Like oh man, I was, mm -hmm. and then people say I'm weird doing it. I said you're weird too with the stuff you do. <laughs> so I, I mean, I, I call them out. I call them out. Cause they'll try to be funny. So I'll just give it right back to them. And like my yeah. kids, they try to do it, but they can't hang with dad. They can't hang with dad. I say, <laughs> yeah. Same thing that's with me. My thing is to go into the, and, and meet the Sequoia trees at the Sequoia national park. That's like, that's one that, that's on my bucket list. I would love to do that. I need to go hug a giant. <laughs> that's just, I well, find it very like something that I need to do. I know the one bucket list I had, um, is to my one of the things on my bucket list was to go to Hollywood, California, and I got to do that, which was you know, wow. I got to go to Universal Studio. And then I was told when you go to Cal Hollywood, the um, Walk of Fame, there that that area, what you see on TV, my friend goes, When you go there, you're gonna get disappointed, but it's nice at the same time. But 
that's only one block, one huge block. <clears throat> so when I got there, it was like, oh, snap. But it, I, I had a great time. Man. I, I took pictures with a lot of people dressed up. You know, I gave him a tip, but I had a good time down there. It, it was it was a great time. And um, want to hear a funny one. So there was these two girls. One was dressed up as um, Batgirl and um, Batgirl and Wonder Woman. And um, and I go, oh, snap. I said, I didn't know Wonder Woman and Batgirl were Mexicans. She goes, and, and they, <laughs> they loved it. That's right. We're representing. It was just, a, it, it, was, it was funny. Because, you know, yeah. I, I'll joke with people but it, it was it was fun but they they were like you know i acknowledged them and it, it was it was nice it was nice yeah so my, so, my next yeah my so next it's something is, that like you i would want to do something like that but go towards i guess more of the nature oriented me i mean not yeah. i don't like to camp i don't like to hike none of that so i just want to go meet my tree and come back home <laughs> i've been to i've been over there i've been to your family <laughs> okay all right um, I but know I couldn't get our, to the trees. <laughs> I know on our side they got um, Bear Mountain. Well, I oh, guess there's wow. a whole bunch of bears. I went there once. I ain't see any, which 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 I'm fine with. But I did go <laughs> camping one time, and um, I'm sleeping in the tent, and there was a bear sniffing me through the tent. I wouldn't move. Oh my and, and as soon as daylight, and it was our last day to go anyway, I I woke everybody up. I said, "Let's go." I, there was bears here. I'm out here. I was like, mm -mm. but yeah, that's the scary that? part. Yeah, it is a scary part. <laughs> yes, and uh, I'm not doing no tent again. I'll, I'll, I'll rent a cabin to do it. Other than that, yeah, nah. yeah, not, I'm not doing it. All right, we got this other. We got two more from your album. Yes. I told you we're gonna play mm -hmm. all the songs. Hey, we have Thank you. Cielo no es amor. Yes, that's that a cover. Liz Garcia style, okay. yes, and that is a song that I used to listen to when I was growing up. You know, it's it's an oldie, but it, I love that song, and I would say one day I'm gonna sing it, and I just I just had to um, do it. Like all of the songs that that you um, that you've been hearing the covers are basically Liz Garcia, um, Liz Garcia songs that I've selected. You know, and most of them come from the pop internacional, which is uh, the ballads um, and that genre of music. So that's. It's one of my favorites, so hopefully you guys like it. All right, let's check it out. Si esto no es amor. No me pidas que te de mi vida. Sabes bien que esto no es nada personal. Yo no sé quién te contó tantas mentiras Y ahora tú te quieres ir de la ciudad Como quisiera tomarte entre mis brazos Pero nunca en contra de tu voluntad Que te quedes o te vas ya no es el caso Solo sé que necesito otra oportunidad No sé qué pude yo haber hecho mal Para que me dejes sola en esta oscuridad Que no ves que estoy a punto de llorar Si esto no es amor entonces, ¿qué le digo a mi corazón? Que por primera vez te equivoco. Tú dime si esto no es amor. Tú dime si esto no es amor. Yo no sé cómo decirte que lo siento 
vida tendrá mejores momentos Puede ser que tú no eres para mí No sé qué pude yo haber hecho mal Para que me dejes sola en esta oscuridad Que no ves que estoy a punto de Esto no es amor, entonces que le digo a mi corazón que por primera vez te equivocó. Tú dime si esto no es amor, entonces que le digo a mi corazón que por primera vez. Tú dime si esto no es amor. That instrument that's been on all your songs, um, was it the accordion? Yes. Right? I love the I, 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 love, I love the sound of that. I love the sound of that. Mm -hmm. I just I, I watch Whoever, whoever I see like on TV video, like it's crazy because it's got all those like little buttons on one side and like a piano on the other. I couldn't do that, but it, it's cool. No, I, would, I would have loved, loved to learn, but no, <laughs> can't. <laughs> I haven't really. Any no, I don't. My any? only instrument is my my throat. That's it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Now let me ask you, um, are you a Selena fan? Selena? You know, I think we all are. Uh, Sel Selena, you know, everybody, I mean, I don't have the, the background that everybody out there has, you know, but I, I, I've learned of Selena like really late in the, I guess before she, she passed, you know, um, I didn't know too much about her because I would, my thing was more of, um, the Mexican music because I was, living here, living in Mexico at the same time. So I really don't have that background where I say, I grew up when I was little, you know, I can't say that. Um, but I did learn about her. And then of course, ever since I've known about her. So yes, I am a fan of her music and, you know, tragic that we lost her the way we did. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, I'm not like, every. I can't say, I can't be like those, like everybody else out there that says, oh yeah, you know, since I was little, my mom used to play, you know, not in my case, I learned okay. very late. Right. <laughs> so, so if you was to do a freestyle song, it would be probably in Spanish, right? It would be, yeah. it would be in Spanish. That, that, that'd be dope. Now, nah, because if um, you do it, I'm playing it on the other show too. So, yeah. just a heads up, you get double, you get double play with that awesome. Liz Garcia on that Mondays and Liz Garcia on the Friday freestyle fix, which is awesome. fine. By matter of fact, I do have one artist. She she had a she has a song on Latin Mondays and she has one on the Friday Freestyle Fix. M e oh, J yeah. she so she's on both. So which is That's cool. Awesome. So you're next. I'm gonna hold yes. you up, Margo. Um, get 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 to work, Margo. <laughs> Put that freestyle in. Now. I'm just I'm just playing. Not just playing. So, so what's in? Now, um, we got one more song. So before we go to that, what do you where where are you performing? Uh, like this summer or what do you got? What kind of events you got coming up? Well, I mean, the closest one that I have, you know, I just had one yesterday was the Elote San Antonio Roster Corn Festival here in San Antonio. I did that yesterday. Um, you know, I participate in that event every year. Um, so I want to send a shout out to El Chistoso Lotes for always inviting Les Garcia. He invites me to two of his festivals. He has five. So I always participate in the San Antonio Roster Corn Festival and the, and the Tamale Festival. So I was there yesterday. Um, the one coming up for me is going to be in Pulte, Texas, once again at the Backyard Kitchen. I'm going to be performing out there the last day of the Strawberry Festival. It's not at the Strawberry Festival um, grounds. It's going to be at the restaurant, Backyard Kitchen. I'm going to be performing once again out there sharing the stage with my good friend Cuban Diva and some of her artist friends. Um, so we're going to be out there on the 14th of April. So those of you that are able to go, I'm, I'm inviting everybody to join us. It's going to be a free event. And, um, of course, I'll be singing for you. She will be singing for you, and there's going to be a lot of surprises. So we'll hope to see you guys there. Um, the biggest one for me, it's coming in June, with the, which is Pride. You know, I participate with Pride. I'm an ally, so I've been participating with Pride for, I want to say, I'm not too sure if it's already going on five years, I believe. 
that I've been participating um, with Pride, and I always send a shout out to them for always including Ms. Garcia in their events. You know, I'm very happy to be there. I, I appreciate the love and support, so I'm giving it right back. So thank you so much. So this time around, I'm going to be opening for Trinier, like I said, at the Pride Festival here in San Antonio. Okay, yeah, Pride, I, um, I saw the Yeah, yeah so cool. I'm excited for that. Last year, I, I opened for the Cover Girls there, también at Pride. So this year, it's going to be for Trinier. And I mean, I already know Trinier. I've been, I met her before. You know, I even had her dancing with me. There's some videos that I have on Facebook that I shared. Um, we did a meet and greet with her, and I was dancing with her and singing for her. So it was pretty cool. And so I already know. I've um, been, um, like, I don't want to say up close and personal, but yeah, we've been <laughs> friends. So, you know, that's the neat, the, the neat part of it. You know, it's like everybody gets intimidated because she's such a strong woman like a very strong presence and i'm like i and she likes this garcia yay <laughs> so i'm 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 so happy to be able to do this you know that also like i said the cover girls are awesome awesome ladies you know they're beautiful beautiful people um la Huera también la stephanie bennett you know so i'm very happy for that that that's one of my main ones um it's going to be on june um that we're going to have a meet and greet and also um the the actual performance the next day so that's coming in june i'm going back to dallas um houston um austin so um you know there's more events coming there some that are still pending and a lot of them that we're looking forward to like the one we were talking about earlier in new york hopefully right so um you know there's a lot of goals out there for me you know to to go out there um but you know it, it's one step at a time so hopefully it does does come to fruition like i say so but we're working hard on that so we'll see yeah i'm gonna i, I want to go down to texas too to check that out so yes. I come down to Texas. I'm gonna hit you up and let you know I'm out. I'm out there. I'm out there. You yes. can tell me all the good spots yes. to eat and everything. And then yes, we have to take to get tacos. We have to. <laughs> oh, word, you're word. Gonna of, you're gonna eat a lot of tacos over here. <laughs> Listen, there's a spot um, not far from me, Mexican spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, love going there. Love going there because. It's more authentic because I've been to Mexico when I've been on a cruise. I've been to Costa Maya and uh, Costa Maya, and um, oh, there was another one. I went to both, and that I ate Mexican food like there was no tomorrow. I was like, man, I don't like peppers, you know. I just pick them out, but oh, uh, everything I was enchiladas. The only thing I never <laughs> had was uh, a tamale. Never had. That. Oh really? You never had tamales? Nope. And um, like. After we got on the ship and left, I'm like, oh man, I forgot to have. I said, I, I forgot. I was like mad because we did Costamaya and Costamaya, and there was another. And we left. We did the two Mexi Mexico spots, and I didn't get to eat the tamales because I wanted to try that. No, you but, you have to. So have you tried them now? Have you tried them lately? No, no. You need no. to try. It's because you were, you were meant to try them here in San Antonio. That's why. True. <laughs> I know this uh, Mexican lady, she has a food truck. Oh, and yeah? uh, I seen on the Food Network um, where, you know, you have your taquitos and then you have that sauce that they dip it in. It's like, it looks like a soup. Viria. Oh, my. I told her, I asked when I got it, I said, let me get a cup. I want to drink this. And <laughs> she looked at me all weird. I said, I'm Puerto Rican. I said, I do weird stuff like that. I said, just, <laughs> and I, you know, I dipped in the rest. I, it was so good. Yeah. It's it a Viria so taco. <laughs> Uh, yes. tamales, I do have to try it. You have to. You have. It's because you were meant to try them here in San Antonio. So yes, you have to try tamales. All I right. mean, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm, I'm Mexican, but I, I've done them. I made tamales when I was growing up, but I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and tell you that I make them now because I don't. But I know my mom makes them and my sister makes them. <laughs> I just eat them. <laughs> Listen, just just take me to the spots because I'm, I'm gonna eat. I'm not. I'll get on the plane in New York, and I say, you know what? I'm not eating nothing. <laughs> They're waiting when, for oh, me. I mean, when I, we get to San Antonio, that's say, yo, Liz, I'm here. Let's go. Where do <laughs> I go? <laughs> you're going to love it. San Antonio is very welcoming. I think you're going to like the atmosphere over here. It's really nice. Um, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully, you can make it down here. You yeah, can that'll, yeah, that'll work. Here. All right, let's do one more song and then we'll close out after that. And this one is Devuélveme el Corazón. Yes, so that is a cover. So return my heart to me. Yes. Now, mister, we're done, right? Is that pretty <laughs> much? Yes. All right. Let's check it out. Devuelva, devuélveme 
el corazón. Give her the heart back already. Give her the heart back. <laughs> Give her the heart back. Um, just so you know, um, I got a couple of your songs. I know that Confessio is one of them. Is on rotation on Thank the you. stage. I forgot the other one. It might be Adios. 
Yeah. It's in there. I don't know. I, I, I have to go and uh, ask just to see if it's in there. Because all I do is when you send me music, I send it to to the, the owner of the station. And then they, mm -hmm. they put it in there. So when no one's on the station, music will be playing. And then I don't know where Liz Garcia will come up. Awesome. And that's why when I when when you send me the music, I have to make sure I got the art cover so it pops up and people know who's singing. So when they Google you or go through Facebook or Instagram, do you do TikTok? I do, but you know I haven't been able to um, go and update because of the fact that um I was I'm trying to get it verified as an artist um, profile, and yep. I'm having a little hard time with it. So I don't post anything because anything that I post is related to my music and yeah, it wants to strike me for copyrights or, or mute me and so I'm like, mm. so I hardly update it, but I do have it as under Liz Garcia Music or Liz Garcia La Cantante, I believe. I don't really remember which one, but one of the two. But yes, I do have it. I mean, I do have a few videos on there mm -hmm. and some, some I'm able to get away with, but um, in order for me to be, like even to find my catalog and my music, I have to be um, turning back to a regular account instead of a business account. Right. So I'm having to, I'm dealing with that right now. So hopefully <laughs> I get it to work before they take it off. Like they say they want to delete yeah. it or something. <laughs> so we'll see. So this new album, plus your other ones, where can uh, listeners, fans, for those who haven't gotten it yet, uh, where can they get your music? Like which, which, social, which um, outlets? Well, I do have physical copies for people that do like to hold physical copies in their hand or collect them. So I do have three um, completely independent guys so you guys uh, every time that you purchase a cd it's going to come straight to me because i'm the one that is actually selling the the album so if you want physical copies but if not my music is available in every music platform um it's out there on pandora it's on spotify it's on apple music itunes iheart these are title um youtube liz garcia la cantante music um amazon you know it's everywhere under liz garcia liz garcia is the artist name Liz Garcia La Cantante, it's more of a social media thing. And that's for you guys to find me easier on social media. So you'll find me under Liz Garcia La Cantante on Facebook. Also Liz Garcia. Um, you'll find me under Liz Garcia Music. There's another page that I have like that. I love Liz Garcia. Um, on Instagram, Liz Garcia La Cantante. You know, TikTok, Liz Garcia Music, Liz Garcia La Cantante. <laughs> you know, I and, and it's the same person. It's just a matter of um, having you, making it easier for you guys to find me. On social media but the artist name is liz garcia all right cool that that's that's cool all right guys so uh get on there and start purchasing the music because is you'll enjoy it especially if you like that um her style and uh <laughs> she's gonna be coming out with a freestyle song now let me stop yeah <laughs> so yeah if you guys want to hire liz garcia also get a hold of Enter uh, spino entertainment you guys can hire liz garcia for your festival for your event in private event you know I'm, i am for high arthur so you can still be, um get Liz Garcia to perform at your event i am a solo performer i don't come with a band i'm by myself but i get the job done and i'm still getting hired out there so definitely look it up and if you want if you like what you hear you like what um the shows that i that i've been putting out there definitely give us a call and hopefully we can make it to your party cool so um want to give any shout outs be before you go well, I want to say thank you to the people that were on here. You know, this is not um, the typical way of people um, to come and um, watch my interviews. And normally on Facebook, that's why I was asking, is it on Facebook, YouTube? But, you know, I like it because it was never cut off, you know, so I really like this way. Because on Facebook, it'll be like copyright strikes and all of that. So, but um, yeah. I'm very happy for those of the, the, those of you that were here, if you guys are still on there. Thank you so much for the love and support. And those of you that are going to come back later and watch this, because I know there'll be a lot of people that come back in hit replay on there. So, I mean, I'm going to be sharing it again anyway. So I want to say thank you for the love and support. I'm um, Delilah, also Curbside Pandas, uh, Delilah Rodriguez, you know, everybody that was on there, you know, thank you. I know there's some people that came and went, um, but thank you. Thank you so much for everything. Yeah. Like anything you need, like promoted or what promotion wise, just hit me up and I got you and you know, I'll announce it. Cause now I, I say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support. You know, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, like I said, Triple FM radio station también. You know, thank you for the love and support. DJ Echo, even though um, casi no, no entro a verlos, I'm so sorry, guys. I really am. If you guys need to get a hold of Liz Garcia, if you need for me to do something, please get a hold of Margo. Um, I am the, the boss. I am the manager. Todo lo que quieras. Margo is my PR. Margo is my, my booking agent. 
she takes care of all of that for me and she makes sure that um, I have so many things going on at once. So she makes sure that she's on top of me for all of this to happen. So I do apologize if you guys sometimes ask me for something I'm kind of late or sometimes I forget it. I'm really sorry, but I want to say thank you also to all your listeners for the voting. You know, thank you so much. Thank you for uh, giving my music a chance. Thank you for, um, you know, all the promotion that you guys give me. It truly means a lot. All right, because I'm gonna hit up. I'm gonna hit up Margo after the show. I'm gonna say, "Yo, tell her give me that radio drop already. I've been waiting." <laughs> no, <laughs> embarrassing. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's gonna get it. I said, "Wait, now, now I'm gonna be like, wait till I get to Texas." <laughs> no, I'm serious. I I do come out there. Yeah, I'll hit you up and show me yes. the, the good spots to eat taco oh or whatever i'm just i'm down for it i'm down we're gonna have a list for you because <laughs> i appreciate that the guy you know not far from me you uh -huh. know but, uh, you know you're gonna want to take you're gonna want to take to go bags from here you'll see <laughs> no 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 doubt i'll take it back to the hotel room i'll be eating that at night i said oh we're going I, and i'll be like this you got another spot i said i want to just hit <laughs> one and then oh in San Antonio, you'll never finish. There's so many places, like oh my gosh. Yeah, it's all about food here. <laughs> and I'll come back with a I gained weight. I said you was only gone for a few. I said, shut up, man. I was eating Mexican food with Liz Garcia. We we're just hanging out. <laughs> eating right? Mexican food. I was rocking it. Yes, yeah, all about food. Dance. Thank you. <laughs> and, all right. Thank you for being on the show. I'm glad we finally got to do it. And of course. Yeah. Next year, if you come out with another album, we could do this again. We could do yeah, this. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Like I said, this was my second time on your show, and I appreciate you playing all the the songs. You know, it finally my my album finally got the justice it needed. You know, because I've been doing interviews, and we only do like two, maybe three songs. Well, uh, but, we you did. Know, thank you, thank you for releasing every song. We did ten today. It was a Liz yeah. Garcia show today. Yes. Yeah, and not I appreciate it. Not a problem. Thank you. We're gonna keep rocking. Um. I'm gonna play some Cuban Diva next. Yeah. Yes. So, like Cuban uh, Diva. We're gonna keep it rocking, but thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, rest of your week. Uh, like I said, you need anything promoted, send it my way, and we'll put it on our um on our triple threat FM page where people a lot of people follow the pages on Instagram mm -hmm. and on um Facebook. I'm the one thank who runs the, I run the one on Instagram, and then the other one is a bunch of us that help out with posting stuff on the facebook but a promoter like i'll send it to our promoter jess and um i go here can you post this up and she'll post it so anything Thank you need you. You know, i got your and back also, i want to say um you know prayers for you with everything that you're gonna be Thank going you. through and everything va a salir bien you'll be up and going vas a andar corriendo y todo el pedo. <laughs> yeah that's, that's the plan that's the plan that's it will, it will. <laughs> right. give it up for uh liz garcia La Cantante, the music star, and uh, you. anything you need, you know, we're here for you. All right, y'all. We'll be back with more Latin Mondays here on Triple Threat FM Radio. Let the music speak. Triple Threat FM Radio. It's a great night. It's a great night. It's a great night. Oh, make sure you dance all night. Commercial free. Hey, it's your girl Cuban Diva from Houston, Texas, and you're tuned in right now to Triple Threat FM Radio with DJ Wonder Rick, and let's go. Recuerdo todo el daño que me hiciste. Me rompiste el corazón, luego te fuiste. Yo te abría la puerta cada vez que tocaba. Pero ya me cansé, no me importa nada. Por eso sufre, sufre, sufre. Yo sufrí, ahora te toca a ti vivir todo lo que yo viví, por eso sufre. sufre. 